We recently spent 11 nights aboard Silver Sea's new Silver Ray in a superior veranda suite. This is a walkthrough of that suite and our review. Okay, this is uh, Suite 6099. This is a veranda suite. I'll put the category on the screen. I'll have to look it up. This is the first time we've taken a look through. So I'm just going to walk down the hall, go to the bedroom, the living room, and then we'll come back and do the bathroom last. Do have a couple of hooks in the hall, which is nice. We'll add some more of our own here in a little bit, some magnetic hooks. This is a connecting stateroom. There is a stateroom next to us. We're not usually crazy about that. Sometimes they can be a little noisier, but at least the door is all the way for, you know, toward the front of the room, not toward the balcony, so it's not near the bed. And here we have a makeup table with a chair. This is pretty nice. I'll let you pull out that Okay, it's got some nice little compartments in there. There's a makeup mirror, but it's not lighted, but there is a pretty bright light here on this mirror. And a tissue box. And I don't know, this apparently does not open. This, I think, is a clothes hamper, yeah. They give you like a laundry bag there, which is interesting. I've never seen that before on a ship. And let's see, we'll walk around. Here's a full length mirror, kind of near the entry. Go back here is the bedroom and the closet. This is the walk in closet here. And it's, I don't know, it's maybe a little smaller than what I've seen on other Silver Sea ships. We just checked in, so we just got on board. It has some interesting forward hanging hangers here, uh, top and bottom, for shorter items like shirts, and then the longer items you would hang over here. Two bathrobes. It's got some of these satin lined hangers up here. Hangers are nice. They're wooden. There is a tabletop back here. This is what you use for in-suite dining. This uh, folds out and fits on top of the coffee table. There is an umbrella. Now we already have a couple of bags in here. We haven't received our luggage yet. I've just got my backpack sitting down here. Ricky's got her carry-on bag. We do have four shelves. And they do give you a shoe bag, a shoe mitt, a brush for your jackets, little sewing kit and some uh, really nice looks like throws in this drawer you've got a safe I like this drawer safe it's pretty large could almost fit my laptop in there I don't know if it'll fit but it might sure surely would hold an iPad and then we have three drawers down here and all of them are soft closed drawers which is nice and then this door, it's on a strong magnet, I think, but it does, it closes, but not quietly, but not, not terrible, I guess. I like the light colored wood. Here we've got the bed, which is in this case, two twin beds put together. It's got a bed runner. We did notice a, or I did notice a little stain on the bed runner. A nice padded, looks like leather headboard. There is a phone by on one bedside table. These lamps are fixed. They don't move. You do have a little LED light here, reading light. 
switches and a US style 110 power plug on this nightstand. There's also a European plug back there, and it looks like a USB-A and a USB-C fast charge port, as well as three shelves down below, which is nice. I kind of like the carpet. It's good. It's a good design. A little piece of art in front of the bed. And we'll work our way over to the other side of the bed. We have a, they do have a couple of luggage things to hold our bags when they arrive. Looks like the same types of power ports here. USB ports as well as the light switches and the US style AC outlet. Three shelves. I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of Silver Sea literature. There is a curtain that separates the bedroom from the living room. So if somebody wants to stay up late and watch TV or read, they don't have to disturb the person in bed. Nice size sofa. Looks like it could pretty comfortably hold three people. A coffee table, which also becomes your in dining table. They make it very large and they'll set it up for you. One thing we noticed right off the bat that's very interesting is there's no chilled champagne. It's the first time we've ever gotten onto a Silver Sea ship where you didn't have a bucket of chilled champagne. Uh oh, somebody's at the door. Might be our butler. Hang on. Hello. Hello. Absolutely. I'm Ricky. Madam Ricky. I'm Chris. Chris. And Mr. Chris. Yes. Uh -huh. Welcome on board. Come Thank you. Welcome Come on in. Allow me to sure. take the a small brief regarding the benefits of the suites and facilities and also some information that you should know. Okay. Can I take a few moments of precious time? Sure. Sure, absolutely. Come Certainly. in. Please. <laughs> so I won't so, take long. No, that's fine. As you know, like everything, as you know it already, Madam. There's a safety videos on the television, which okay. is mandatory. You have to watch the video, acknowledge, okay. and then you will be logging to the main television where you will find all the information uh, regarding daily activities and for the following days, as well as the restaurants opening and closing times and also the menus. Everything's on the television. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Does the television turn? Yes, okay. Madam. Good. <laughs> Shall I do it for you? No. <laughs> I believe you. Okay, we do it, yes. We do it in the evening when we do our turn down service. Oh, okay. When we place our chronicles. Mm -hmm. So for the following day, we do it. Uh, we just turn. It's hard to tell. Okay, we've got the popular pillow already. Yes. yes. Is that the firm one? Yes. And the. Permanent. Okay, I'm going to come back over here because our butler just left and he showed me that this top door does open. I just didn't see the handle down here. And there are some more shelves. So this would be a good place to store camera gear, binoculars, whatever. There's also some laundry slips in here. Another little shelf down there, a little cubby. So I wanted to make sure I didn't miss that. I was about to show you the living room. The nice size sofa, the coffee table here. I was saying that we didn't have chilled champagne, but our butler mentioned that there is a bottle of chilled champagne in the refrigerator. They now keep it in like a refrigerated sleeve. In the mini bar, let me get down here. So there is a bottle of champagne back there, a couple of bottles of beer, and then some other soft drinks. and they replenish this with whatever soft drinks or beer or wine, whatever you want, they'll put in here. There's also two bottles of water over there that they fill up every day. So that's the mini bar. Here is the, the desk. There is a little iPad which lets you, I haven't looked at it yet, I'm assuming it shows you what's going on around the ship like the Daily Chronicles and possibly Restaurant Times television. 
high definition and it swivels. It pulls out from the wall and it will swivel so you can see it from the bed. Two water bottles here, refillable like what you would get on one of the expedition ships. A couple of shelves up here, only two glasses. I don't see any. I guess those are wine glasses or water glasses actually. A little wine opener and a bottle cap. And then a pretty expansive desk. Now as far as connectivity, there is a USB-A, USB-C, and a European style plug. That's all I see here. And then a couple of light switches. Uh, there's also a dresser here. Drawers, and they have dividers which is interesting the way that's set up. These are just solid drawers, but they're all soft clothes, which is nice. Nice padded leather desk, desk chair. This drawer has some little padded dividers. And then inside there is a book, and the book has your breakfast menu, do not disturb sign. Surprised they still use these. Surprised they don't use the magnetic ones that just stick to the door or lights. They do give you some... Now back in the day they used to put your name on here on this uh, stationery. Envelopes, postcards, Very nice. I think now we'll go out and take a look at the balcony. There's also two reading lights over the sofa back here. Okay, let's go outside. Now the balcony door is fairly easy to open. That's nice. It's actually a pretty good sized balcony. It's pretty deep and I like the fact even though the chairs don't look super comfortable I do like the fact that they give you foot rests and a good sized table so you could definitely have breakfast or snacks out here on the balcony okay so now let's go take a look at the bathroom don't have any lights on in here right now. So as you can see, a very large vanity with two faucets. It's just one large sink with two faucets. Towels are stored down below. There's a real interesting box down at the bottom for storage where you could put items in that box. Now there are storage trays with mirrors on each side. Uh, a lot of odium amenities here, makeup pads, shower cap, cotton buds or q-tips, loofah pads, makeup remover, hand and body cream. They also offer you an option to use uh, uh, Bulgari amenities which we did ask for because we like Bulgari. And the butler will bring that later. Uh, there's some odium bar soap, odium hand soap. Um, attention to detail, all the chrome is polished. No water spots, looks very nice. Two more shelves on this side. And then there's a towel rack here, but a drawer, huge drawer. Look at the size of that. So you have plenty of room, look at this, to store all kinds of Ricky like that because she brings everything in the house. Hair dryer down there. There is a trash can down at the bottom on each side, two trash cans. Same drawer over here with a little sliding very, very, very ample storage. 
and I believe this is their base level stateroom, a balcony stateroom or veranda. So there is a light around the mirror, but I don't know if it's turned on. I don't see where to turn it on. There is a, an electrical outlet here, a European style. We'll have to check and see if there's a night light feature in here. Maybe if I turn this main light out. Okay, so there is a light behind the mirror. I guess that's the night light. It's nice. And then inside the shower, very large, marble. It has the rain shower head also has the little wand and a seat a place to where you can either sit down or prop your feet up if you need to and then all of the odium amenities the shower gel conditioner and shampoo there is no bathtub which is fine with us because we don't take baths on cruise ships anyway the butler mentioned something about some sort of special shower thing they offer with a, a fragrance or something. We'll have to explore that. There's also two hooks on the back of the door and another full-length mirror on the back of the bathroom door. And then over here we have the toilet. Now what we have to do is we have to test, make sure this is a luxury soft close seat and a soft close lid. Absolutely mandatory for a luxury product. And let's see how loud it is. And it's pretty loud. <laughs> it's not the quietest one I've seen, but I've sure seen louder ones. So that is the walkthrough of the Superior Veranda Stateroom. Let's take a look at the television. First, we have to watch the safety briefing. And I think we have to watch this video. I'm not going to make you watch the whole video. After spending some time exploring the in suite television, turns out this is one of the best thought out and designed television systems that we've ever seen on a cruise ship. It has built in messaging. You can check restaurant times. Very, very elegantly designed. Very easy to navigate. There is a ton of complimentary television programming and free movies. You can see your sailing agenda, the itinerary. Uh, any shore excursions. It really has a lot of built-in functionality. I mean, just look at the list of different channels and television stations and shipboard cameras that you can flip through. It has got more entertainment options in suite than we've ever seen. So you've seen our initial impressions with the first day we walked on board, what we thought of our Superior Veranda stateroom. But what about after we spent 11 days in this suite? There are actually four different veranda suite categories, and this is the base level accommodations on Silver Ray. They start with the classic veranda then they go to the Superior Veranda, the Deluxe Veranda, and the Premium Veranda. Each of these veranda categories are identical as far as size and layout. The difference is going to be the location on the ship. Now, the veranda category on Silver Nova, Silver Ray are going to be a little bit smaller than the previous generation of Silver Sea ships. 
The classic veranda on the Silver Moon, for example, is 387 square feet, about 30 square feet larger. However, I would argue that you're not going to miss those 30 square feet because this suite is so well designed, so well appointed, that we found it to be one of the most comfortable suites that we've stayed in in this class or category on any Silver Sea ship. There are, however, some changes from our last Silver Sea cruise. You no longer get plastic bottles of water. They're trying to get rid of plastics, as are most cruise lines. And you do get these refillable metal bottles that you can take home with you if you choose to. And they also replenish the ice water in the refrigerator every day. We like the fact that they still provide a daily printed chronicles. It's on your bed each evening at turn down. However, it's only a single page now. While it does show a photo of the next port that you're going to visit, it no longer gives you that detailed port information that the previous chronicles used to give you. And we kind of miss that. One day, our butler set up a really special shower experience where we had our chilled champagne, a couple of macaroons, and they put this interesting little dissolvable fragrance tablet, I don't know what you call it, in the shower so that when you turn the shower water on, it releases like eucalyptus and mint and all kinds of fragrances. It was really unique and different, and uh, we thought a very special something that you, we have not seen on Silver Sea in the past. Ricky and I were celebrating our 30th anniversary on this cruise, and Silver Sea still does the very best when it comes to special occasions. They put the little swans with the candle on our bed. Of course, it's not a real candle. It's an electronic candle. Uh, a very nice little happy anniversary cake was on the desk, and they fixed up our stateroom table with some beautiful balloons and a bottle of champagne and candles. It was just very, very special. We also did eventually get some fresh flowers brought to our suite, and I think they had to wait for a specific port before they could get some more flowers for the suites. We did take advantage of the ship's laundry service, and the laundry and pressing is perfection. They did a great job, and everything is returned either on hangers or in these beautiful tissue-wrapped paper pouches. Very, very well done. Our butler, Sejon, was absolutely excellent. He did everything you would ever expect a butler to do. Ricky, unfortunately, twisted her ankle on this sailing, and he made sure we had Ziploc bags full of ice so she could ice down her ankle. Much appreciated. Thank you, Sejon. And he got us restaurant reservations if we needed it. Anything we needed, he would take care of, and it was... Very well done. Silver Sea Butlers are always excellent. Our stateroom attendant, Neoman, also did an excellent job of keeping the room perfectly clean and spotless throughout the cruise. We found the mattress to be very, very comfortable, and the bedding and linens are of the highest quality. Very comfortable. We slept very well on this entire cruise. The walk-in closet maybe a little bit smaller than what we have had on previous Silver Sea ships, but it was, again, very well designed, and it held everything we needed. I think you could actually do a world cruise in this stateroom and with this closet with no problem. We had plenty of space for everything. We're going to go ahead and give the Superior Veranda Suite on Silver Ray a 5 out of 5, our highest rating, very comfortable. The room was quiet. There weren't any squeaks or rattles. It was just a pleasurable experience. Now, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Please give it a thumbs up. That really does help our YouTube rankings.